Now in this chapter we're going to talk about video in Adobe Photoshop and CS5 has some video capabilities now and since this overall tutorial is not really about video we're just going to touch on some things and talk about the basic functionality of video and um, then after that you're kind of on your own and also for the most part Photoshop is a 2D program and has some 3D in it and has some video um, obviously there might be some better options and software for you to go to one of those other practices like 3D or video like After Effects or you know to an actual 3D program like Maya or what have you but to import a video so you can go ahead and do file and you can do open and I'm just gonna open my astronaut move and you could see here's video and then I also have a video layout which I clicked and it has our timeline now the timeline can be found under window animation and then also associated with that we have layer video layers and new video layer from file new blank video layer replace footage interpret footage and so on so those are the two areas where you could find video stuff and then we have our layers panel here which has our video in it. We have a layer thumbnail with a little video clip in it. Now if we double click our layer, we get our layer style just like any other layer. And then if we want to apply effects to this image, we can, but we have to treat this as a smart object. We have to do convert for smart filters, and then our layer is converted into a smart object. So now this is pointing to DP Astronaut. So from here, we have our timeline. Let's just play this really quick. We have our little astronaut floating in space. Um, very, very simple animation that was created in After Effects and brought into Photoshop here. And wait for it. And then he explodes. <laughs> so there's your basic controls. You have your timeline. We have our layer one here, which is our video. I'm going to go ahead and name that video. And at the bottom we have our play and our next frame, enable audio, and our zoom slider, toggle onion skin, delete keyframes. And then we have our drop down, which has more video stuff. Um, so we're just going to do some simple color correction on this and do like a fade in and a fade out and nothing too crazy because again this video is not all about um, video editing and um, motion design and you know using After Effects or any of that stuff. So we can go ahead and create some adjustment layers just to help dial this in a little bit and make some adjustments so you want it a little bit darker. Maybe you wanted to set it into a cool tone so it's in space and and maybe take our exposure down then we could sort of thumb through and see what we got here now that this is a smart object we can go ahead and double click and we can use layer styles as well. We can do a color overlay, gradient overlay. So let's put a vignette on this. Just going to do radial, reverse, and foreground to transparent, multiply, scale this up. I'm not going to align it with the layer. And tweak my gradient a little bit. And there's our vignette. 
and then let's do a quick fade in and fade out and I'm going to do that by making a solid color I'm just going to make it black and then we're going to create some keyframes here really quick so if we open up our layer in our timeline we can have opacity we could set that move our thumb in and we could go ahead and change the opacity right here by our opacity and we have our fade in fade out I'm going to go ahead and do the same as the end which I'm going to set this to 100 and I'm going to move this in and set this to 0 and there we just tweaked our animation it's very simple and once we have something that we want we could also move objects we have position opacity style and these things can all be animated and keyframed now when we're ready to export we can just do file export render video and we could select our folder or subfolder our QuickTime options with our settings. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to do uh, just H264 keyframes automatic sure that sounds good hit OK and then we have image sequencing if we want starting at numbers um, document size I'm just going to leave that alone. We have our range. You could set your range here and your render options. And let's go ahead and render. So we jumped ahead. There we have our new video. All color corrected and with our style added and our fade in and fade out. And then we have our working file where we animated a solid color we put on some adjustment layers and we just treated this image and just rendered out our video so again we have our timeline we got some video options here and then under layer video layers we have some video options there as well and then our layers panel we set some keyframes and that was pretty much it for a little video overview.